Apple has a new name for its Mac operating system. Instead of OS X, it is now Mac OS to fit in better with things like iOS and watchOS. It's almost part of a, a, a long, slow march towards a grand unified theory of Apple operating systems. And as part of that, there are a lot of new features in Mac OS. The first version is called Sierra, uh, some of which are very Mac-like and some of which come from iOS. The big headline for Mac OS is the addition of Siri, Apple's uh, intelligent digital assistant. You activate Siri with a simple key press and then you can talk to it just like you would on your phone. What's the weather today? Here's the weather today. And you can take these results and you can actually uh, pin a lot of them to your notifications bar. If I say, show me news headlines. Here's some news for news headlines. And I can click this little button here, and that's going to get added to my notifications bar here on the side. And of course, the most useful thing, I think, about Siri on Mac OS is the ability to search the files on your Mac. Show me all spreadsheets. Here are all of the spreadsheets. And then you can access those files right from this window iCloud also gets a lot of updates in Mac OS. There's a lot of new ways to optimize your files and save space on your Mac. But my favorite is if you go into iCloud and you go into the settings under options and you check off this box for desktop and documents folders, what that does is that will sync uh, what's on your desktop and what's in your documents folder among all the different Macs you have that are signed in with the same iCloud account. I'll show you how it works. I'm just going to create a quick screenshot right here. And there it is on my desktop. If I go to my other Mac with Mac OS, you're going to see the same file pop up right there on the desktop. And there it is. Another small but fun feature is picture in picture. Uh, basically, it lets you play a video. And if it's compatible, then it's going to give you an extra button right here on the video player that lets you pop it out into its own little window right there so you can surf and do other stuff while still watching your video or you can just send it right back. Messages is also getting a lot of updates, both in Mac OS and in iOS 10. Jacob is gonna come over here and send me some of the new cool types of messages, and he's gonna start with some giant emojis. And here they come, those are really big. And you can also send me cool messages and things like invisible ink. And that shows up here obscured, and if I just mouse over it, then I can see the message. Well, I'm fine, thank you. And of course, you can even do handwriting from his phone to the desktop. Cool. Mac OS should help your iMac, MacBook, or other Mac computer feel more tightly integrated with your iOS devices like the iPhone or even the Apple Watch. Once you have that set up as a form of two-factor authentication, you can just hold the watch near the screen to unlock your system. Like the last several OS X upgrades, Mac OS is a free update and you should be able to download it now.